Okay, to the friends in our room, I had someone to send me a message today and they asked me what are some of the things that I cannot live without um, being as I paint with acrylics and not the um, Genesis heat set paints. Well, there are several things that I definitely cannot do without. The first one, of course, is my uh, paint bowl. Um, I tend to start with these. I mean, you can use any size. I use these sometimes. Um, I save the little bowls like the Chinese food comes in. I'll save these and use these to mix my paint in. Um, but my plastic bowls, I cannot live without them. Sometimes I'll use glass bowls, but I just personally prefer the little plastic bowls. Um, and they're really good for me um, for mixing up my paint because um, that way I can easily um, see my quantities I can, and I kind of play around with the quantities um, that I use. Um, another thing I can't live without is my distilled water um, because you have to, of course, thin your paint. So you have to use distilled water. Um, I buy these most times. I get five or six jugs at a time and just keep them. Um, but yeah, definitely my distilled water. Um, my mop brushes, um, unfortunately, mine need to be clean. <laughs> so don't pay attention to them. But uh, my large mop brush uh, my smaller mop brush and then I have a variety of brushes um, I'll quickly show them to you because they're gearing all be cleaned uh, all different shapes sizes everything um, that I keep handy um, so yeah those are the brushes now when I want texture this is something that I just ran on um, eBay, um, not eBay, YouTube um, video where a person was talking about getting texture. And so I tried this and I absolutely love this thing. All it is is a 99 cent sponge roller. And what I found is you just put the varnish in your bowl and then you can rub the varnish on the doll and it gives a textured look almost like you have pores so i actually love this thing you know some people might want to use it some people don't you know you have everybody has their different technique but i just found that i absolutely love this thing 99 cents gotta have it at least i do now when it comes to my products um these i found to be my go-to products now um i use um I hope you can see that. Um, it's Americana DuraClear Gloss Varnish. I use this for lips, uh, my nails to um, give them um, a wet look. I love this product. Um, you know, it gives a nice gloss, not really overly done. Um, now, these next two, this is the Americana DuraClear Ultra Matte. Um, this is what I mix with my paint um, when I'm painting to make it adhere to the vinyl. Um, yeah, it does good. I mean, it 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 works. Um, now, if I if I run out of this, uh, hold on a second. I'll show you my backup that I use um, when I don't have the DuraClear. Then I use Liquitex matte varnish. Can you see that? Hope you can. Yeah. Uh, a little bit more expensive. Um, I find that it's important that you don't use a lot of this because um, it tends to leave your baby kind of shiny. So you want to kind of be careful with how much you mix. And you'll the more you paint with it then the more you'll see um, about what can what amount that you need to use and I'm gonna do another video where I actually show you the amount of matte varnish and everything that I actually add but yeah but the DuraClear Ultra Matte my backup Liquitex matte varnish now once I finish painting I always allow 
my pieces to cure for about three days. That's just me before I seal. Now, here's something else that you need to think about. Be careful picking your sealing um, products because there are certain sealing products that you seal with that will cause your baby to have a shiny appearance. And I made that mistake uh, with Adam, uh, the reborn, last reborn that I did, because I used, I had used the matte varnish, and I, I don't know whether I just didn't let it cure enough, or I used too much of the sealer, uh, which is this one, um, the multi-purpose sealer, but it gave too much of a shiny appearance, so I had to strip him, repaint it, whatever, so it was extra work, extra cost, obviously. Now I found this product. I was looking, trying to find something that gives the baby a dewy appearance. And I found this product. Let me tell you something. This thing is the bomb.com. Okay. It's by Americana. It's called DuraClear Soft Touch Varnish. And when I tell you it gives a smooth, velvety finish, that's exactly what you get. Um, it's to me, it's just as effective as the dewy skin, and um, it's pretty clear. Um, let's see, I'm working with one hand. Let's see if I can kind of let you see it in the bottle. Can you see that? Yeah. Um, it's pretty clear. I don't want to end up pouring it into my phone, but um, I absolutely love it. Um, it's really gives a really nice soft. Um, baby smooth appearance to the skin. Um, it has no, it doesn't give it a gloss or anything. Um, I absolutely love it. Now, the question I was asked also, what type of acrylic paints do I use? Um, I use a mixture. Um, I have used, and I mean, of course, I've used Craft Smart. I don't even know why I picked the orange color, but anyway, I would just use it for the brand. Um, <laughs> I've used Craft Smart paint, low budget, so you get what you pay for. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that it's Craft Smart. Um, I've used Apple Barrel. I've used Americana, and I think I have some folk art. Uh, I don't think I have any pulled out, but I've also used folk art paints. Um, my preference um, would be the Americana and folk art. Apple Barrel. If I can't get Ameri can't get to the store and get my Americana or folk art, then I'll go with Apple Barrel. Um, if my budget doesn't allow me to get these, then I go with Craftsmart because again, the quality of your paint. You get what you pay for. It's just the bottom line. Um, Americana, Apple Barrel, and Folk Art Paint. Um, you can find those Michaels, Joanne Fabrics. Han I believe Hancock carries them. Um, Craft Smart, I got from Walmart. And Walmart also carries some select Walmarts also carry Apple Barrel. I'm not sure if all of them do, but I do know some of them, the ones in my area do. Um, and again, these products can be ordered online so um, I hope that kind of answers some of the questions that I've been getting uh, lately um, and that's about it if you have any questions um, about any of the products that I've shown you leave me a comment and I'll try to help all right bye